Hi everyone and welcome back to the Wolf Silver Review because that's a super funny joke that is Hi everyone I'm Ghost of Asala and welcome back to another Silver Team Review this time Portugal thanks to a suggestion from a subscriber yeah thanks for the suggestion sorry it's a bit late and also sorry that I won't be able to use all the players that you suggested but I'll be able to use most of them and yeah so this is the team so basically what happened is I've already recorded this before so I played two matches with the team and so I already have a kind of a good idea so here's the leaderboard for the silver series and yeah as you can see the scores have changed slightly and this is to kind of to fit in Portugal here because I thought the scores were getting a bit too similar like an 8 for Spain was not the same as an 8 for Japan was so I decided to give him 0.5s and as you can see here's what the scores look like at the moment and yeah where will Portugal fit in who knows yet I'm not 100% decided as always I usually play about like 5 games with the team so I haven't played that many games yet I only played 2 games so I am, I am not fully decided on how good all the players are but yeah here's the team so Salvador Agra very good good pace pretty good uh, Nelson Oliveira and I don't want to spoil stuff about the team yet uh, Jota, of course, a good young player and has a very good looking card, 85 pace, 78 dribbling. Uh, we have Francisco Geraldes, uh good at dribbling but low shooting. And uh, Cafu himself, <laughs> he's got very good physical. Same, same thing with Pedro Sar, he looks like a very good card. Tavares, used him in a Santos Boca career mode and he, this card looks like well, probably one of the best silver left backs in the game. You know, good pace, good physical, good dribbling, really really good card. Same can be said for this guy, Pantolino on the other wings. Centre backs, you know, they look pretty good. Edgar, yeah, he looks good. And Cardoso, it's not too bad. He's a bit slow, but. And then Bruno Varela in gold. Okay, so on the bench we have Domingo Skina, another young player for Watford. We have Ruben Vinagre uh, for Wolves. Wow, Wolves! Um, who's good, but he has low defending, but I will try give him a try. Thierry Moutinho, um, who I've used, he, he's, he's, he says 90 pace, but he kind of doesn't really have 90 pace. Uh, Fabio Silva used him, didn't really like him that much. Uh, Bebe was alright, I suppose. Same with Helder Costa and Trinchao, but of course I will play with all of these players. I'll play a couple of games so I get to show off all these players. But yeah, let's play a game, try and sort of confirm what my idea of the team is. And yeah, let's get started. And Bam, Silver Squad playing against. Ooh! Oh, Hasabe, legendary. I swear, I always, this is the only time when I ever play against Japanese players is when I'm making YouTube videos. But Akocha, Edwin van der Sar, and just Hasabe in there, because why not? And David Abraham, well, he's got no left backs or right backs. This is a strange team, but strange teams tend to be good. Tafu <laughs> Paulinho. Oliveira, and he does score. That's a very good early goal, and that is something that this team is paused there. That is something that this team is very, very good at. Just passing it and good ball control. It's something that I've noticed a lot. There's not really uh, any players who have bad ball control on the team, and that is such a blessing. Oh dear, Crespo. He subbed on Crespo. How did I not notice that? And Abraham's gone off as well. And my guess is Hasabe has also gone off. Carlinho, Geraldes. Over to Cafu! No, good save. The pace, the centre backs are just not quick enough for Portugal, unfortunately. There's only 170 pace centre back and then you have to drop down to lower than 65. And I think that shows, you know, that was EA is the seventh EA. EA, when I'm referring to EA, I mean the guy whose name I can't pronounce. Oliveira! No! Oliveira! Oli Oliveira is kind of a problem with this team. I know he scored, but uh, his touch is the is probably the worst in the team. Cafu, can he score? Oh, penalty! Yes! That was very lucky to get that. Probably shouldn't have got that. But it is a penalty. And I've got, I've got to take it. I've got to take this opportunity. Who's taking it? EA. Why are you taking it? <laughs> get it, because his name sounds like EA. Well, Oliveira may not be that good, but he does have good penalties, and that always is an advantage to have. And he puts it straight to where Van Sar was standing. Two goals for Oliveira. Uh, you know, I always say this, whenever I trash talk someone in a video, they always end up doing very well, and he has done well to put that penalty away. And it's half-time. 
So yeah, so far not so bad. This team is still doing pretty well like it was last time. Come on, EA. EA! You've got to get that. You've got to get to that, EA. Oh no! How did he let that through? Oh no, Crespo, you've gone past. Great save from Varela, and it's a it's a overhead kick thingy, and it is in, and that is full time. And here we are with the second game. Who have we got? Not Vardy. I did play against Vardy um, in the games that I lost. Uh, that I lost to history, but uh, not this time. We've got Victor Simhan, uh, the final one. We have Moyes Keane, uh, Daniel James. Wow, future stars of the team, Kovacic, and all of them, all of them lads. Trinchao haven't had much of an opportunity to use him yet. He doesn't seem very bad. Oh yes, he's, he's actually really good. Oh, give it to Trinchao again. Come on, what can he do? Oh, he can go for everyone. That's what. Oh, good save. Cafu, he's been really good in midfield. Brilliant passing play, and that is what this team can do. They can all pass the ball so well, and it's just really good. And if you pass a lot like me, you're going to absolutely love playing with this team. The passing is amazing. But yeah, I'll play, maybe play a couple more games and I'll get back to you with the score. Right, so, bringing up the scoreboard now. I have changed some scores. Nigeria got a 9 originally, now it's got a 9.5. Because I've basically I've added 0.5 to the system where they weren't there before. Japan, 8.5. Spain got an 8. And Portugal, unfortunately, are only going to get a 7.5. Sorry Carlos, but uh, it had to be done, I have to be fair on the other countries. And yeah, so here's my reasoning. Well first of all, let's go for the best and worst player. Uh, best player was probably Cafu, I really did like him. His 84 physical minute, he destroyed people in the field. And you know, his shooting and dribbling was good enough, and he, he had good, he, his passing sometimes let him down, but overall he was a really good card and really good in midfield. And something maybe the Spanish and Japanese midfield lacked slightly is just that sort of really good player who can bring the ball forward as well. As for worst player, it's I'm I'm go, I am gonna uh, I know I talked about EA, but I think I'm being a bit harsh on EA. And you know we need to sort of respect EA a bit more. You know EA aren't actually that bad. I mean isn't actually that bad. Definitely not referring to something else here. But anyway, yeah, Cardozo is probably the worst player. You know pace. I don't know. Maybe I was missing someone, but. There aren't really that many centre-backs with pace. I went for him because of the high physical and defending. Fortunately, he was just a bit too slow and kind of ineffective at times. Um, but yeah, so I'll just put it back to the best team and I'll discuss why I only gave what the strong and weak points are the team as a whole. So, strong point of the team is that, as I said, they can all pass really well. Good passing and control. So, they can keep the ball. If you want to do possession, I would definitely suggest the Portuguese team because they were all really, really good passers and they all have good ball control. So if you want to work it forward, then I would do that. And I maybe a narrow formation would work better this, with this team. I noticed there were quite a good few centre mids, but I wanted to use people like Bebe and Jota. And yeah, so um, worst part of this team, of course, is... Well, you may think I was going to say the defence or possibly the lack of a really good striker, although Oliveira did score two goals in me. But... Um, <laughs> But yeah, he, he isn't that good. But uh, actually, I'm going to go for the fact of a lack of a truly amazing player in this team. You know, Nigeria had absolutely loads of players who were really, really, really good. They had the front four and they had the two centre mids who were amazing. Um, Japan had Nagai and Miyoshi who were just phenomenal. Um, uh, Spain had Adama. But Portugal don't really have anyone, unfortunately. Cafu's good, but he's not amazing. Uh, I think that's what lets him down and sort of doesn't allow you to break past that last month is that they don't have someone who's really good you know Agra's good 
Oliveira's good, but of course he has bad touch and bad passing. Jota's good, but he's just not fast enough, unfortunately, but he is good. Um, Sar's alright. Geraldes is good, but he's no better than Manu Garcia, and he's definitely not as good as Miyoshi. Uh, Tavares is, is good, and he's probably the second best player behind Cafu. Uh, talks about the defence. Varela is a good keeper, but he is prone to mistakes. You don't really notice Palino, to be honest. Uh, Mutinio is not fast enough. Kina and Silva don't have good enough touch to be in to start. Vinegar, vin vinagre just does is not defensive enough. Bebe is okay. He will be a good sub for this team, I suppose. But he's not. He kind of there's some there's something a bit off. Bebe is good, but I don't think you'd start him over Jota. Uh, Costa just you don't notice him. Trinchao was actually really good. I actually really like him. I think he's got high star skills moves, hasn't he? He's probably uh, yeah he does. He's, he was one of the surprising players, uh, but yeah he doesn't push the team up to that good enough. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. Uh, sorry that I rated the team so badly, but it's not bad. 7.5 is really good, and I'm sure there's worse teams than that. It's just it's unfortunate that they're the lowest rated team so far. But make sure to suggest some suggestions. I do have a couple of silver teams that people have already suggested. But who knows, this one was suggested late and I just was like, oh, I'll do this one anyway. So just suggest what you want and I probably might end up doing it. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you've enjoyed Japanese series coming soon or whatever. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.